To code our MicroPet project, I can just open up a web browser and go to the Make Code homepage. The shortcut is just makecode.com. Then click on the Microbit card to get taken into our Microbit Make Code editor. You'll see two blocks here uh, on your workspace, the On Start block and the Forever block. Whatever code I put in the On Start block will run once when I first run my program. So for instance, I can open up my basic toolbox drawer, find the show string block, drag it into my on start block, and type start. Now this string will show on my micro bit when I first start my program. Whatever code I put into my forever block will just run continually forever. So for example, I can open up my basic toolbox drawer, find the show icon block, drag it onto my workspace and drop it in the forever loop. And then um, a, a heart icon will show forever after my start. Um, I can also use this drop down to select different icons to show on my micro bit. For example, for my micro pet, I can select a smiley face to show for my pet. I can also add other interactions. So if I open up my input toolbox drawer, you can see I have an on button pressed block. Go ahead and drag and drop one of those onto the workspace. And now when I press button A, whatever code is in there will run. So I can grab another show icon block, drop it into the on button pressed, and now when I press button A, a heart will show on my micro pet. And you can see that here in the simulator when I press button A, a heart will show up. You can also use the on shake. So using the microbits accelerometer or motion sensor, you can, it can tell when you shake it, your pet. So we can also um, drag and drop the show LEDs block onto my workspace underneath my on shake. And I can design my own custom animation. So for example, my micro pet doesn't like it when I shake him too much. And so he's gonna show a smiley face when I shake him. And again, you can test this in your simulator and you can simulate a shake just by um, uh, moving your cursor back and forth on the simulator or pressing the on shake button. And I can also press um, button A. When you're done with your program, go ahead and click the download button from the web browser. Depending on what browser you're in, it will prompt you to save your program file I'm in Edge, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save As, and I'm gonna look for my micro bit that's gonna show up as a USB drive in my file explorer here. So you can see it just showed up here. Um, that's because I just connected it via the USB cable. So I'm gonna select that D drive and select Save. And then my program is downloaded onto my micro bit.